All right, I got a video for you guys. Um, I got a trailer. Here it is. And you see those yellow chucks? I drive my quad onto that, and then I latch it down. I got two in the front. I'm thinking of putting two in the rear. So I went out, and I got these Ericsson's uh, wheel chuck system. It comes with the straps. It comes with the chucks. $42 on Amazon. I had to get another... Uh, $30 on bolts from Home Depot. So the chucks are reasonably priced, but I put a hot dipped galvanized bolts in, so they're a little bit weather resistant. And I'll show you how I do it. I uh, I gotta get the bike on this, and uh, then we'll videotape more. <laughs> tracks it's an e-track system so let me load the e-track system on send it a strap and just once the strap is center just a few clicks and I'm in I gave these it's got about an inch space on these because once you cinch it down a tire widens a little so it's not going nowhere but I just want to put the back on just to be sure strapped down and pretty much centered on the trailer I'm gonna put the two chucks in it comes with a set of two chucks per wheel and uh, I'm gonna mark it with a pen and then drill my holes and anchor them in what I like to do is draw a line here as a reference point and then draw in the holes There's, there's two holes by the tire out. Once I line these back for, I'll draw the uh, holes for these two. So now I'm coming to this side, I'm doing the same. Got my four holes. Got the reference line here four holes so i'm done now i gotta do the other side all right so here we go there i'm gonna take the quad off i'm gonna take the chucks out and start drilling but look take a look at this i want to show you guys see the front's a narrow tire but the walls are exactly i don't know 43 i think the quad's 43 inches wide but the walls of the outer tire outer outer part of the tire um are equal but the front tire is skinnier so the first chuck's gonna go over a little bit and the rear chuck because you got a fatter tire 
it's going to go go over to the right a little more to get that center of that tire. So that's that's what I have here. And it looks like I'm going to be okay drilling there. But this is one of my concerns on this side. See, the half tire, halfway on the tire is right on a stud. Just one stud, meaning that, you know, one of these two by, I think these are two by sixes, uh, holding down the tire. It should be okay. You know, it ain't going to go nowhere. All right, here's the fun part. See, I made adjustments, so I'm gonna start drilling away. Here's the first hole. Second hole. I'm trying not to get the rails on the bottom of this trail. I'm not on any of them. I'm using a quarter inch bit. Let me just make sure these are lining up. So far, so good. One more time. Do the same to the other side. Back in them. You could drill through the plates too with them in there. Just put, you know, drill a hole here and then just drill the rest with the plate in place. Give you better screws, screw holes. But I'm just gonna, I did it the hard way. Well, let me tell you something Home Depot sucks. It really does. I'm, I bought a total for this trailer, right? I don't know, maybe fifty dollars in galvanized galvanized washers, um, nuts, bolts, right? So I bought these bolts from Home Depot, and then I bought the twenty-five pack hex nuts that are supposed to be on it, quarter inch twenty, right? Let me show you how these fit. It's supposed to fit snug. I don't know if you can see this. But quality control really sucks. Now I gotta drive a half hour. Look, yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't know if you can see it. They don't thread. They thread, but they're loose. They're seriously loose. They go, they slip on and off. Crazy. Quality control, China. There you go, Home Depot. Fix your shit. Now I gotta drive a half hour back to the Home Depot to pick up. I'm only short two nuts. I bought extra nuts. The galvanized hot dipped. Made in China. Distributed by Home Depot. Quality control sucks. It's not, it's not. Look at this. So now for two nuts, I gotta take apart the whole trailer, get my car, go to Home Depot, where I can't finish this project that's gonna rain in about 20 minutes. So guys, it'll to be continued. Gotta go to Home Depot. Maybe I'll go to a local hardware store. They deserve my money better than Home Depot. But there aren't any because Home Depot knocked all of, wiped all of them out of business. In my area, at least. You all know that I got a cat. The guys that follow my channel. Now watch. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go in my house. I've been out for about a half hour. Let's see if the little bugger's waiting for me. Hey, Jax. You been waiting for me? You miss me, don't you? Oh, I don't want to. I don't want to pet you. My hands are all dirty. And look, he put his he put this toy down. 
this is a toy that he loves. He likes playing with it. Okay, the weather's getting bad. You can tell it's going to rain any minute, but I'm done. I went and bought the bolts. I broke down. I didn't go to Home Depot. Screw them. I went to local neighborhood hardware store, and they couldn't believe how, how like, the specs were on these bolts. Okay, so I put her on. Let me clamp everything down. It looks pretty good. In a couple of minutes, it's all clamped down. It looks good to me. I'll let you guys know if it survives a two and a half hour trip upstate. Manufacturer says to go out and check it every uh, this is what those, every 20 miles to make sure the straps didn't come undone. I'm probably gonna put a strap from here to here. And probably put another strap where the hitch is and I'll put a I'll put a a loop over there just in case one of these or a couple of these get undone but there you go the suspensions free the ties are strapped in and we're done we're done thank you for uh, stopping by and thank you for your patience during this whole ordeal with this three nuts. Um, if you like the video, hit the like button. Sub if you haven't. It means a lot to me and it'll mean a lot to the success of the channel.